First off, I'm, I'm very humbled to be up here talking to you all the today. The only member of the U.S. Armed Forces to complete SEAL training, Ranger School, and Air Force Tactical Air Controller training. He was also an ultra-marathon runner, motivational speaker, and world record holder. This is the story of the most toughest Navy SEAL ever. This is the tale of Chief Petty Officer David Goggins, born on February 17, 1976. Due to lack of schooling, he was diagnosed with a learning disability when enrolled into third grade. Because of the child abuse that he suffered during his early years, Goggins found it difficult to learn at school, as he was suffering from toxic stress. Because of the stress, he developed a stutter. He was constantly in a fight-or-flight response with social anxiety because of his stuttering in school. Goggins was also subjected to racism in his early years at school. Before his freshman year, Goggins attended a pararescue jump orientation course. His grandfather had served in the Air Force and prompted him to join the U.S. Air Force too. When Goggins applied to join the United States Air Force Pararescue, he was accepted into training and was later diagnosed with sickle cell trait during his training, and was removed from the training temporarily. He instead participated in the United States Air Force Tactical Air Control Party training and worked as a Tactical Air Control Party from 1994 until 1999 alongside his British counterparts. He later quit an exterminator job to become a Navy SEAL. He joined the reserves, after losing 106 pounds in three months, eventually making the weight requirements to begin training as a SEAL. He graduated from basic underwater demolition SEAL training with basic underwater demolition SEAL training class 235 in 2001. He received the NEC 5326 as a combatant swimmer SEAL, and was assigned to SEAL Team 5, following the SEAL qualification training and the completion of a probationary period. Goggins served tours in Iraq and Afghanistan in his 20-year military career. In 2004, Goggins graduated from Army Ranger School and received the Enlisted Honor Man Award, receiving a 100% peer evaluation. Goggins was the 36th African-American Navy SEAL in United States Navy SEAL history. When several of his military friends died in Afghanistan in a 2005 helicopter crash during Operation Red Wings, Goggins began long-distance running to raise money for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation, which gives college scholarships and grants to the children of fallen Special Operations soldiers. He competes in endurance challenges, including three times challenges in Badwater Ultramarathon. Goggins raised more than two million United States dollars for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. In 2013, David Goggins broke the Guinness World Records title for most pull-ups in a 24-hour period. He did 4,030 pull-ups in 17 hours, 16 minutes. In 2005, Goggins entered the San Diego One Day Challenge, a 24-hour ultramarathon. He then completed the Las Vegas Marathon in a time to qualify for the Boston Marathon. In 2006, he entered the Hurt 100 in Hawaii. Goggins was invited to the 2006 Badwater 135, where he finished fifth overall. In 2006, he competed in the Ultraman World Championships Triathlon in Hawaii, placing second in the three-day, 320-mile race. In 2007, Goggins placed third overall in the Badwater 135. In 2008, he was named a hero of running by Runner's World. He also participated in the Furnace Creek 508 in the year 2009. He competed in the Badwater 135 in 2013 and finished 18th, after a break from the event since 2008. In 2016, Goggins won the Infinitus 88K in 12 hours. In the same year, he won the Music City Ultra 50K and Strolling Gym 40 Miler. In 2020, Goggins ran the Moab 240 Ultramarathon, 
placing second in the 241 mile event with a time of 63 hours and 21 minutes, approximately 95 minutes behind race winner Michelle Gralia.